Hello, my name is Jessie and I'm one of the educators here at Bywater Solutions. In today's tutorial, we will go over setting up article requests and making an article request through the OPAC. So let's begin by starting in the staff client. As soon as you are logged in to the staff client, the first thing we'll want to do is go into Koha Administration. From Koha Administration, we're going to want to come into our Global System Preferences and let's do a quick search for Article. That is going to bring up our four new System Preferences in 1611 for Article Requests. The first one we're going to want to take a look at is the option for article requests. So by default, it will be set to don't enable. What you'll want to do is come in and set, and set it to enable so patrons can place article requests. Now we have three options down below, three additional system preferences. Article re requests can be made at the record level only, which means for records that are only record level requestable, then you can set mandatory fields available. Our other option is for records that are only item level requestable. Then you can come in and make those specific options available. So for example, we can come in and say that the student or the patron or the user must have a title and a date available. So what this is allowing you to do is set your mandatory fields. Okay, so you can do that at again the record level and or the item level. Now we have a third system preference that ties in here and that's if you are going to allow either or. So if you allow them to make it at the record or the item level, then you can come in here and select the particular fields that are going to be required. So just like the rest of your Koha system, your required fields will be in red and your non-required fields will be in black. Once you've set up your system preferences, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go into our circulation and find rules. So let's go back to administration and this time we're going to scroll down and we're going to go right underneath our patrons and circulation and we're going to select circulation and find rules. So let's select the appropriate library for select library. I'm going to select all libraries where my circulation and find rules are and now we're going to scroll all the way over over to the right hand side. You'll notice that we now have a new column that's been added into our circulation and fine rule matrix and that is called article request. So if you're in to edit a particular line for your um, circ and fine rules matrix, I'm going to show you the options that you now have for article request. So you can make article requests available at a specific patron category and item level. So what we'll do is we'll come in here and let's hit that drop down menu. You'll notice that we have a drop down that says no, which would mean no article requests can be made. We have a yes, which means yes, we can make a request at both the record level and item level for a particular title and then we have record only and item only. Okay, so those tie into our system preferences where we could select the mandatory fields, remember, for item only or record only. So in the yes case, that would mean both. So that would mean we can make a request at both the record and the item level. Once we have each specific rule set, if we're going to allow article requests, we'll come over and save that. And now we have our system settings set. So now let's go over to the OPAC and walk through the process of article requests. I'm going to come up to the top and I'm just going to do a quick search for home education. Let's say I was looking for an article from the 2008 magazine um, that had a, a great article about um, homeschooling. So if I wanted to come in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and on the right hand side, you'll notice that we have a new option and that is going to be request article. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that and now that's going to bring up my form where I can come in and I can actually place a request for an article. So now I'm going to come in and um, if 
fill out my article request form so you'll notice that title um, uh, is, is filled out in red. We'll come in and fill out the author and then any other additional information that we have. Maybe I know the volume and the issue. Then I'll come over here and select the date as well. If I know the pages, I can add that in as well. Now, we have a free text form for notes. There is not a field for your user to place a hold needed by. So if I needed this particular record, um, my article request for a particular date, I can say um, article needed by for 2317. If I have a multi-branch system, I can select my pickup location and then you'll notice down below that I have an option for any item or the particular record and that's because I selected uh, both for that option. Once I'm done, I'm going to come in here and place the request. Now that is going to take me over to my summary tab in my account. Article request does require that the user is logged into the system. So now you can see that we do have an article request right here. You can see with my checkouts, any overdues or fines that I have, as well as holds. We now have a new tab that's been added here, and that's article requests. So here you can see all of the article requests that I have currently made. What we'll show for the patron, um, they'll be able to see the record title. So of course that's hyperlinked. If we wanted to open that in a new tab and take a look, I'd be able to see that particular record that I made a request on. I can see when the request was made. I have the title that I've entered in, the author, volume issue, date, pages, and then any additional information. Here in my notes field, you can see article needed by 42317. Now in the status column, you'll be able to either see if that particular article is either processing or pending. And then we have our pickup library, and then that's going to be the location that was selected when placing that article request. The patron can come in here at any time and cancel that request. Now, the patron will be able to see, number one, when it's pending. That means a staff member on the staff client side has not yet processed it. The next status they'll be able to see is the processing status. Processing mean that a staff librarian has gone in and um, began the process of going to retrieve the article. Okay, now let's jump back over to our staff side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right back and we're going to click on Koha and that's going to take me to my main screen. You'll always be able to see your article requests right on the first page. So along with your comments and your tags, I'll be able to see article requests. So here I can see that I currently have two article requests. Now I am logged into my South branch and I do have other branches here. So let's select article requests. That's going to take me into my article requests module where I can come in here and you'll see it's selected for South Branch again because that's where I'm logged into. But at any time I can select all libraries, update that feature, and then it will show me any other article requests that are currently pending. So what I'm going to do is let's go back to our South Branch, the one that we just requested and let's begin the process. So the first thing that would happen is a staff member would come in and they would be able to um, see the request that has come through. The next option that we have here is going to be to come over here on the Actions tab. So here I can see all of the requested information that has come through and I have my I, I have my patron information so I can actually see that link where it goes to. And then we have our Actions menu and that's going to give us our options. So the first thing would be to process the request. What that's doing is that's going to move it over to the Processing tab so if another librarian or staff member logs in they'll know that somebody is working on uh, processing this article request. 
So let's come in here and, and change the status to processing. That's now moved it over here to the next tab. So if I scroll down below, I can see that the third option here is for home education. That's the one we just requested. And I can see that the request has been made. So now I can walk out to the stacks, grab that particular periodical, make a copy of it, and prepare the article request for the patron uh, that sent it in. Now my next step would be to come in here and actually print the slip. You have a few new notices and slips that will be visible um, for the article request process. So let's come in here and actually take a look at um, this particular slip. So this slip can be configured so it we can see the information that has been um, retrieved for our particular individual, Tina Banks in this case. So now I can actually print this slip out and attach it to the article that I just made a photocopy of. So when the Tina, the individual, comes up to retrieve the article request, it will have this slip attached to that periodical. Now, my next option would be to complete the request. You'll notice that we also have an option in here for cancel request. If I do cancel the request, there is a notice associated with this that will send the patron or student a message letting them know that their article request has been canceled. So for now, let's complete the request. Once I complete that request, it will send a notice to Tina letting her know that the article request has been completed. Also when I complete the article request it does remove it from my processing tab. Now there is not a completed tab right now so you can go back and see which article requests have been completed. Um, so what it will do is it will actually send Tina a notification letting her know that that process has been completed. Now I'm going to quickly jump over to the OPAC again and we're going to come into Tina's account. Now we'll be able to come back over to article requests and you can see that there's only two left and those are the ones with the status of processing. So at this point Tina should have received an email letting her know that those article requests are ready. So I'm going to come back over here and now let's pull up Tina's account so we can see the information in her notices. So for example, let's scroll down here on the left hand side. Here's Tina's account. I'm going to select notices and now you can see that we have um, several that have been um, sent through. So we have um, article request received and that's going to tell Tina that um, we've received her request for an article. We have um, our processing here for a um, home education magazine. There's our one that just went out. And then we have our final request, which is our article request completed. And that is going to show us that the, the article request has been completed um, and it's ready for pickup. And you can see here, we may, you may pick up the article at the South Branch. Okay, so now let's take a look at our notices. If you would like to customize the language that's in there, um, let's take a look at that. So I'm going to come into more and we're going to scroll down to tools. Under our tools on the left hand side we have our patrons and circulations and let's go right into notices and slips. So I'm going to come in here and select my all libraries so I can see those particular article requests. So here you can see we have our first one which is article request email canceled, article request email completed, article request email open, and then article request email processing. So at any time I can come in here and edit those and update any type of information. Also, we have our article request um, print slip. So if you want to adjust any information on that print slip, you can come in here and adjust any of this information and of course submit like usual to customize those notices and slips. Once you have your system preferences, your circulation rules set, your patrons can now start making article requests through the OPAC. Now, just to verify, let's show you what it looks like if a particular individual is not logged into their account. So I'm going to log out now. Um, so I'm currently not logged into the system and I'm going to do that same search for home education. So I'm going to perform that search and let's take a look at our um, 
brief results. So here you can see I have that same home education 2007 and 2008. Now you'll notice that there's a request article um, tab right here on my brief results page as well as my detailed results page. So I can either request the article here which will prompt me to log into the system or I can come back and select and look at the detailed view and you'll notice that request article is also available here on the right hand side. If I do click on that, that does prompt me to log in and then take me back into my article request form. Okay, so now once you have everything set up, make sure your system preferences are set and your circulation and fine rules are set, you can begin to use the article request feature in Koha. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions. Please visit our YouTube channel or www.bywatersolutions.com for more tutorial videos.